Hey there folks, Dingo from Peak Power USA. I just wanted to make a quick video to educate you on the importance and urgency of choosing solar right now. So quick tutorial, bear with me. This is my inverter for my home solar system. I'm producing solar power. It's coming through here uh, as DC energy. It goes through the inverter, gets inverted to AC energy comes out this line, goes up through here, comes over to here, and back down to my electrical meter and my main panel. So this is important because as I'm producing more power than my home needs, where does that power go? It goes through the meter and onto the grid. Uh, there it lies and remains uh, until I need it again. This is a nice relationship with the utility company that I'm very happy with. Uh, they take that power and they sell it to my neighbors at a premium price, you know, whatever they can get, uh, which is uh, a lot more expensive than what I pay for power. So, you know, unless they have solar. So uh, I am currently on what is known as the net metering 2.0 rate, which is a very solar friendly rate structure that is currently in place. Uh, basically, I pay $9.87 a month to be connected to the utility, to be on the grid. Uh, and then as I store my overproduction for my solar system on the grid, it is costing me about two cents per kilowatt hour. That's not very much. That adds up very slowly. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Now, the reason that I'm making this video is because uh, the utility companies and the, uh, the, the Public Utilities Commission uh, are about to converge and make some decisions on what to do with solar customers moving forward. So this does not affect anybody like myself who already has solar. Uh, if you have solar right now or you get it in the very near future, you will be grandfathered in on net metering 2.0 for 20 years. You're welcome, that's fantastic. If you don't have solar, if you have not chosen that um, and you wait and these new, uh, this new uh, rate structure goes into play, it'll be called net metering 3.0 and your cost for uh, being connected to the grid with solar is going to increase to around $75 a month. You're welcome. Uh, if that doesn't uh, get you fired up, I don't know what will. Uh, and uh, the cost of storing that overproduction from your solar system on the grid is also going to increase. And I can't really give you that number yet because it's not decided. But what I can tell you is it'll be more expensive. Uh, so when is the best time to get solar? Well, eight years ago, honestly, about eight years ago was the best time to get solar. Uh, the next best time is right now if you go solar now and you qualify for the net metering 2.0 rate structure which is currently in place you will be grandfathered in for 20 years you win congratulations congratulations to us all um, so i hope that's helpful beneficial in some way and i hope that uh, you choose peak power usa for your solar installation because uh, we're really good at it. We know what we're doing and we'd love to help you out. So click on the links if you want to learn more about net metering 3.0 and what's on tap for the near future. And most certainly uh, request a proposal if you want a free quote to see how much money you can save by going solar today. Later.